We are now live, direct, New York City. Rainy day out there, winter, although this is kind of autumn. I don't know, it looks wintry like in this image. Uh, light rain, unexpected light rain. Um, but it's thawed, it's above freezing. So, time to get the transitional joints on. Um, yeah, I guess I see some thumbs up. I hope that means you can hear me. Um, and I got Tyler here. What's up? I don't know. Is Willie coming? Yeah. I don't know. Willie's busy, but she might be coming. And we got two two pockets, two styles of two pockets. Which one's your favorite? What's your favorite baby, Willie? Nihilistic. Nihilistic. Hands down, it's cold. <laughs> Nihilistic is really full. Well, you're not wearing it. Oh, you're wearing something different. No, I dress in the future. <laughs> <laughs> Who is it? Somebody described themselves as permanently jet lagged because they're always working on the new shit, like stuff that hasn't come out yet. I feel that way. But... Yeah. Willie is wearing the future next year. Next year. Let's talk about this year. 2024. Well, maybe this year. Oh, yeah. Well... Yeah, but next, uh, but next, ne ne next season, two yeah. seasons. This, this is like the end of, this is winter, right? The, the pre-spring, right? I don't know, we don't do seasons, we just do shit. Um, two pockets, two styles, lots of colors. Let's do colors first. Let's do colors first, that's easy. Sort of, if I remember. Dry tan? Yeah, uh, I'm not. <laughs> I think this is the dust olive, the rare dust olive, a little blast from the past. Uh, dark olive. Um, and then we got uh, maroon shadow. Is that what it's called? Another blast from the past. So these are all nihilistic. These are four, and then then it gets a little staggered. So, oh sorry, these are all. I lied. These are all nihilistic. These are all strong twill. These four. And then we got interspliced in, just to confuse you, um, a charcoal in nihilistic. And then this is, I believe, charcoal in... Oh, uh, these colors are not running well today. Um, charcoal in strong twill. Correct me if I'm wrong. And then also in strong twill, we got a black. And then in the nihilistic, a very special, very different over black we'll get into that actually let's do it right now it's called over black because it's over dyed um but often when you think of over dyed you think of garment dyed this is over dyed in the roll form um and the reason here is that um this was originally sage i believe um and it had a lot of color inconsistency issues and so there was a lot of fabric that just wasn't usable it needed to be over dyed it's over dyed in the roll dye um it's mostly wool right um Wool soaks up color really strongly, so I don't think it'll behave like a garment dyed product. It should behave as like a color fast black wool. Um, but it is experimental in that regard and different. We also learned a hard lesson. We, we um, sewed the charcoal and the um, over black together um, using the same cut work, but since this has been dyed twice, it actually has different shrinkage. It has no shrinkage. Yeah. This one's got a little shrinkage. Ah, uh, it's wool. Um, and these guys have some shrinkage too. So, just beware. Well, black nihilistic show sage over the time. We can't answer that 100%, but it shouldn't. Um, I'll speak directly on that. Um, right, so, so wool forms really, really strong chemical bonds with dye, right? So, like, if you look at a medieval tapestry, right, that's usually wool, and, you know, a lot of them are faded in some ways, but they're, like, 400, 500, 600 years old, right? Like, if that was cotton, it would, well, probably look like the Shroud of Turin, right? Like, just destroyed, but um, cotton's not as durable as wool, and it's also at that kind of weight, at a tapestry weight. Um, but yeah, wool is super color fast. Carpets, right? You can have like carpets that are hundreds of years old. And yes, they will fade a little bit from like the wear and tear, but like they'll still be rich, vibrant color. 
if you keep it out of the sun, like you're talking about hundreds of years of color fastness, right? Um, so we can't promise you that there's no fading because it's an experiment, but um, I would say it's highly unlikely that it will fade to um, anything other than that it'll fade at all, unless you like really, really like spend you know decades smashing it, wearing it in the sun, or whatever. Um, so both these should be pretty damn color fast. Nylon will eventually like fade in UV, but you gotta freaking wear that in the sun a lot to like fade nylon out. Um, and it's pretty damn color fast too. So color fastness shouldn't be an issue with any of these products here. Um, all right, off the soapbox, back to the product. Will you want to take us down? Yeah, why you want to I don't know, I've never heard that term before. Mm -hmm. It's like whirling off the Apple box. <laughs> <laughs> we got, yeah, there's the Apple box over here. Here's the Apple blue yeah, There's the Apple crate. <laughs> mm -hmm. I love that Apple crate. That's the, the style, the photo style thing. I've been to Speaker's Corner in, in the UK. That shit is wild. I don't know what any of that means. Uh, Speaker's Corner is this part of, I think it's Hyde Park in London, this corner of the park where people are allowed to go rant and they get hecklers around them. They oh. gather crowds of people. It's wild. Um, that's like they step up on the soapbox and they start ranting. And then if they're good, they get people around them. And then there's people that go there just to like fucking take them down. So it's it's very combative. It's the original internet. <laughs> yeah, there you go. It's true. It sort of is. It really is the, the original, original troll, section. the original forum, the yeah. original 4chan. Yeah. <laughs> Scary. <laughs> okay, let's talk about this shirt, um, Two Pocket. Um, this has been around for a second in some form, um, in some iteration. I can't remember the first one. I feel like it was like an S1, like 20 or something. Yeah, um, it went back further than I, like I didn't remember the original. People had to remind me about it. Yes. Um, then we did it in, I believe we did it in the Acon Twill and then two form, two fabrics for today. Um, two just, can we do a quick note just as you just unbuttoned it all? It was, yeah. Like, so what's really interesting, well, they just unbuttoned it, it wasn't that hard, but it's, there's something psychological. I think it's because of um, these bar tacks here, but there's something that is it's significantly harder to unbutton when you're not wearing it. As soon as you put it on, it buttons just like a shirt, but when you're not wearing it, it's harder to unbutton for some reason. It is. It's a little That's odd. Fine. So it, it really, like, it's the out-the-box experience you need to be worried about. Yeah. Yeah, when you first take it out and you unbutton it, you're going to be like, eh, a, little, a little rough, but just put it on first. Before yeah. you, 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 well, you have to unbutton it to put it on. I know, I know, mm -hmm. I know, but before you let the um, emotion sink into your brain and lock in, yeah. just put it on and then button it. It gets yeah. a little easier. Um, so, disclaimer aside, two pocket, and I'll show you where the two pockets are. They're right here. This is kind of a um, uh, chest uh, integrated chest pocket. I designed this original first form around the same time that I was doing the billboard. Um, and I kind of traced this lineage back last night. And um, that's a huge part of where this uh, crossbody um, scene came from. And I love this look of, you don't, you don't see this very much. Um, so I like They're this. like relative. So like a couple things in the pockets, they're, they're a little bit lower mm -hmm. than some, and, they, so, and they're a little shallower, so mm -hmm. like you get this kind of effect. So it's great if you want to um, video stuff from your pocket. Oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's a great feature. Yeah. Yeah, very intentional. Mm -hmm. um, and all, this, was, this shirt is also um, an ode to my love of Bartax. <laughs> um, I fucking love Bartax, and uh, I really was gratuitous with these ones, I'm going to be real. Um, so you'll see that the, the kind of almost like welt uh, pocket from them here is um, kind of built into this front yoke pocket bag in the back, and then it's, it's uh, bar tacked through, so you do get that kind of little etching almost I they remind me of like photo frames like what that you put in like a scrapbook and stuff and that is uh, I ran with that so that's the kind of stylistic defining feature of this shirt yeah, talk about a little bit like this is like this crazy belt stack yeah exactly so this is a uh, basically takes almost like visual reference from like the back of a pair of pants because you see it's like a 
visual of a well and I wanted to put it onto um, a shirt and place it in the seam. So it's like pretty, it's pretty intricate the way that this is made. It's almost like a pocket uh, like shoved into a seam and then, and then sandwiched, sandwiched there. Um, <clears throat> makes a lot of sense in, um, in, in person. So. Yeah, we can't get a feedback loop on that, but that's cool. Um, so there's a concealed pocket here. Bar tax galore. I actually should count the number of bar tax here. Um, and that concealed pocket is going. It gives it. It gives this shirt a you know an over shirt feel for sure. Um, the second you stop seeing the the button so much, it kind of gives it a more yeah. places it in a different. Well, it's squarely an over shirt. I mean, yes. you could wear this. I mean, they're also heavy fabrics beyond that, but mm -hmm. um, theoretically, could wear this as a shirt. Yeah, maybe that, size down yeah. or whatever, but it's not really. It is. It is an over shirt. It's an over. Um, so concealed pocket, bar tacks. What else we got? Nice. There's like a standard kind of shirt collar here. Back got yoke. Big pleat, intentionally big, hang loop on the back. I think this gives it a, a kind of a work weary shirt vibe, and I really uh, appreciate that. I love how this fits. It gives a little bit more volume in the back. It feels right for this shape. Um, stick kind of shirt cuff here. Um, so it's not like it's, this is something that does place it into the over, the, the, you know, it, it's not like a jacket cuff per se. Yeah. Single button. And then, you know, my eye is the biggest um, threshold, which I guess we violate with the warm shirt, is the, it has no um, hand pockets, right? No. It has no hand pockets. Yeah. No hand pockets. And then, let's see on the inside. A little swan over there. And then, this is uh, experimental um, size placement that is driving me nuts. Uh, <laughs> but it really only matters on the rack, so we have, we have we have like a size set of them over here, and it's really hard to set, you know, figure out which size is which because usually it's up here. Uh, we have these new vertical made in Manhattan labels, and it turns out they're a little too long for your average um, back of the yoke, and so that's where the problem comes from, and that's the you know temporary solution. We'll see if it's the long term one or not. Experimental. I work with my variables. Yes. <laughs> I mean, it looks good inside. Like you can like kind of give yourself a little sneak peek inside your mm -hmm. joint and you can see it, size XL I'm wearing. That's actually, you know, for video purposes, it's easier to know what size you're wearing. Yeah, that's true. You don't have to Yeah, so it's worse on the rack, but yeah. better on the body. Mm -hmm. There we go. There, you sold it to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then, I don't know what this is, but it's there. Yeah, nothing. Okay. That's nothing. a sign of nothing. Um, it's a, a 30 millimeter lightning label, technically. So that is the strong total. Got it in one, how many? Six, I think. Six dollars. Yeah, I haven't forgotten the smack. Yeah, six. <laughs> and then we have. Uh, what? Uh, you're an nihilistic? Oh, shit. Tyler got caught out. Um, we should. Wasn't expecting that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right, what should we talk about? What should we do? I mean, I'm wearing, uh, I got the nihilistic on too. Probably getting the, the strong swell on here. <laughs> got to check the size. <laughs> it won't be a problem if you only own one of these. If you own two. Uh, yeah, it's, it's small. You put on a small. Okay, so this size is size down. Yeah. So it looks pretty compact, but yeah, you can pull it off as like a, um, a a hardcore, rugged alternative to, um, what's that fucking weird ass shirt? The, the untuck it. This is, oh, yeah, size down if you want a fucking hardcore untuck it. Um, uh, well, well, Tyler, yeah, yeah. Do you want one of these again? That's, these are mediums. Oh, that's why. <laughs> all right, all the mediums are out here. All, all the mediums are hanging on the table, except now Tyler is going with the 
the double dry tan. I like um, that look. Yeah, so this is true to size for Tyler. Um, and he's got that sweater under there, Henley sweater, warm form. Um, yeah, this looks good. Sharp, clean. <laughs> Boom. So that's true to size. Yep. You kind of liked it sized up, right? I did when we put all these on before. I was kind of feeling the large, personally. But that's, you know, that's like, Looks personally good. for me, but I think, like, that is the true size. Yeah, yeah. So. True to size. I, so if you're if you're questioning whether you should size up or not, I, we recommend sizing up. It looks good both ways. This is in the this is a large. This is a large. Yeah. So here's yeah. Tyler sized up. So you can see it looks pretty similar, but he's got a little more room. Um, you get a little more layering options. So if you're if you're questioning whether uh, between two sizes, I think sizing up is probably the safest option here. And this will also shrink um, a little bit with wash. Yeah. So you know. Wash and dry. Yeah, wash and dry. Um, let's see. So yeah, there we have yeah, it. I wouldn't really like um, size down on this one. Yeah, no, nobody sized down in the studio. People that went true to size or sized up, grabbed it. I'm in true to size in the nihilistic. I can show you guys that. Yeah. Me in it. Here I'm flip. I'm gonna get you. Yeah, hit me. All right, there's a, what, what were you? Large? Uh, this is XL, true size for me in tops. Uh, I'm 5'11", about buck 82 these days. And I got the little guys on if people want the shoe check. Um, yeah, the small little boys. Guys. <laughs> 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 Look at them as like capybaras for your feet. <laughs> yeah, they are kind of little in a way. <laughs> they're like, they're so big that they've I become little. They've entered a new category. <laughs> and they're little in that category. Or just, uh, you the know, other people guys. experiment too, so we like to follow their <laughs> experiments. Um, I'm glad I amused people. Uh, so there we have it. Um, I can, do we have an ex? I don't think we have a double X in this, but we have a double X in the other one, right? So I'm you know, trying to find that. It's going to be a box. Here. Actually, we'll do head to head with the two colors, right? So I got the charcoal. And um, so this is the nihilistic. Let's take the foam drop off. And boom, into. Um, this is XL, so again, true to size in um, the strong twill and you know, tougher feeling. Um, That's good on you. Can I see the back? Yeah, back. Um, yeah, this, this is definitely a good eating product. Yeah, I didn't take one. They're trying to sell me now, huh? Well, I don't know. It looks good on you. Um, let's see, I'm going to try and get the double X to the double X size up. Um, there's a bar tack. <laughs> and, boom, double X over here. Alright, even a double X. Uh, strong twill, too. Yeah, this is a strong twill again in the charcoal. Um, looks good. Feels good. Um, you could layer with it. Oh, yeah, lots of layering. And if it shrinks a little bit, um, you know, it depends. This is the kind of thing you could probably get away without with never washing. It's kind of like a, a jacket. So if you think the dialed in and you're not a wash your jacket person, then um, leave it alone. But um, yeah, I'd go with either. I wouldn't size down, I don't think. Yeah. Um, and yeah, there cool. we have it. What else? Any more um, questions, things? Uh, I haven't. Oh, yeah. Over yeah, people, look, over black is going on. This is nihilistic over black that we're about to preview. Here's all these other colors. And then this is the medium. 
Yeah. yeah, medium. So it's true to size, Tyler, and the nihilistic oh. over black. God, you look looks great. sharp. We should talk a little bit about the difference between these two fabrics, other than $100. Um, <laughs> Three ninety five and two ninety five, right? I believe so. Yeah, yeah. three ninety five for the nihilistic. Uh, we should talk about as this fabric a little bit on the fabric. Here's the nihilistic. Um, it's a canvas. If you get in there, right, you can see it's a canvas, and you can see like that color variation in there is because it's got nylon and wool mixed together. I think seventy five twenty five, seventy five percent wool, twenty five percent nylon. It's an intimate blend, and um, so that means the staples are twisted together and you know, that color variation is because nylon and wool take the same dye stuff, but they take them slightly differently and slightly different temperatures. So they're soaking up the same color, but, you know, reacting slightly differently. So you don't really notice it unless you get, you know, literally like zoomed in. It's not macroing again. Uh, come on, give me the macro, give me the macro. There we go, macro. 70-30, sorry. 70-30, so I was off by 5%. Um, and so, you know, you get all that nice, uh, 70% merino feel in this one, and it's a canvas, the strong twill, like its name implies, is a twill, so you can see all the striping there, um, and it is, uh, 97% nylon and 3% elastane, is that right? Something in that zone. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. In, uh, we're gonna get into the, you know, zoom in on that twill structure, right? Um, so it has 96.4. God damn, my numbers are off today. Um, it's pretty difficult when you Yeah, there's a lot of, we have a lot of fabrics and there's a lot of numbers in this world. Um, there it is in the uh, dark olive. Um, so why would you pick one over the other? Uh, uh well, <clears throat> this one's wool, or yeah. most majority wool, so that's a major yeah. factor. So nihilistic is 70% wool, 30% nylon. So it's a rugged wool, right? It's a canvas. It's like um, burlier than your like average suit fabric. I love that word. Um, so it can kind of like... But it's still soft. Yeah, but it still has like a soft, you know, has a drape, right? It like still speaks to the suiting language in certain ways. It still dresses up a little bit. It has a certain drape. Um, it really is that like, um, you know, Carhartt meets Alaya, really special. Um, so there you have, you know, it's like, uh, elegant fabric and you obviously get the wool kind of performance, like the, you know, the thermal regulation, the hygroscopic nature, um, that stuff. Uh, the strong twill is, is like much more structured. It's not as warm. Um, but it really feels like something that you could like just bash up. Like, a nihilist is actually quite durable, but it doesn't really feel like a fabric that you... It doesn't feel like it. When you're wearing that, it feels yeah. like a tank. Like yeah, a yeah. Strong twill feels like a tank. Yeah, yeah. The nihilist doesn't feel like you can want to beat it up, although you probably could. Um, the strong twill, like, feels like, yeah, you could just, like, you know, run through enemy fire in it. Um, so it feels a lot more jackety, right, and a lot more protective and structured. And it also costs $100 less and comes in a lot of different colors. All right, let's see if we have other questions in here. Uh, what pants am I wearing? I'm wearing the switchbacks. Um, yeah. yeah. Somebody, wants, somebody wants to see sage or sage, uh, yeah, sage brush, I think. I think it's sage brush, not sage, but are other overshirts coming this season? No, this one's called dust. No, this is Dust Olive. Dust Olive. This is Dust Olive. Flat blast from the past. Dust Olive, which is uh, a little bit lighter. Uh, a little bit lighter than the sagebrush. And it actually does have like some of the blue that the sage has, but a little less of the blue in the olive than the sage and sagebrush. Uh, are there other overshirts? I think there's a nihilistic two pocket in the works. Right there. Well, so right not, there? not nihilistic, it's Injex. Isn't there Injex 2 Pocket? Oh, there, yeah, Injex, yes. Mm -hmm. Injex 2 Pocket. There, I mean, there's, there's shirts coming, there's stuff coming. Uh, warm level stuff, we're pretty much done with the wintry joints, I think, other than the 
nihilistic height arcs are coming in a few weeks, hopefully, knock on wood. Uh, strong tool compared to duck shank. So the duck shank is like almost 50% heavier than this. It is 50% heavier than the strong twill. And, and like, much more structured. <laughs> much more structured. I actually didn't like that one as much because it, it didn't have any movement. Whereas like this one, I can yeah, yeah. I so can feel how much stretch that is. Like it's like no problem moving. Duck cloth is Better more than one, yeah. It's I more felt like I couldn't move. I was like, well, yeah, the duck cloth gives you a real armor feeling. The, the strong tool has stretch, right? It has four percent elastane. It's it's a two way stretch. So it's like across the body. Um, it's not like super noticeable, but it like. But, you know, again, it's like the two-way stretch is really about the absence of restriction, right? Not, whereas, the, not like, it doesn't feel stretchy, but you have the absence of restriction. Uh, whereas the duck cloth feels really rigid, armor-like, really, really stiff. It weighs twice as much, more than twice as much, so. Um, Nihilistic and strong versions come in the same colors. No, like, so let's go back to the colors again. This is over black in, um, right, which is in the nihilistic only, and then we have black. Right, you can see they're they're similar. The camera's reading pretty poorly, I guess, because it's so overcast or whatever. Um, but you could, the difference, you know, is pretty accurate, even if the colors aren't rendering that accurate. Um, they're definitely darker. Like this looks gray on my camera right now. Um, they're both read as black, but um, the nihilistic reads as a blacker black. Um, you can see the charcoals are also the same name, but actually quite different. Um, so the nihilistic is this one. It's coming in a little darker than uh, the charcoal in, sorry, this is strong twill in the back. This is nihilistic. So you can see, again, like the strong twill is a little darker. And then the other ones are, are all strong twill only, right? So dry tan, dust olive, dark olive. You see those two together. So these three together makes it quite a combo. Again, they're reading a little bit light on the screen. We got dark olive, dust olive, um, dry tan. Um, Wine Deep, yes, why I said that I had the wrong thing before. Wine Deep, that sounds right. Wine Deep back there. Um, people want a C2 hoodie. I have a, no, I don't have a real C2 hoodie. Uh, uh, I don't have it on me. But they can go on Reddit as well. Should we preview the, 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 this other? Oh, yeah. Yeah, all right, I'll get a hoodie on. It's not a C2, but it's related. Uh, do I have room to layer underneath when it's true to size? So that's actually why I was wearing um, this Henley, because I'm wearing a t-shirt and then this Henley is thicker, and then I was wearing the medium and it was good. So this, see, this is great, being able to check your size when you're doing the size. I'm like, oh, it's XXL. Uh, how often that happens in the real world, I don't know, but uh, this is not a C2, it's a C2 wide. Um, and, yeah, you didn't hear it from me. Um, <laughs> but yeah, and then I got the sized up XXL, strong to L. Let me put the regular size on. Someone wants a zoom of a cup. All right, so this is the strong 12-2 pocket. Zoom of the cuff. They were asking you if you were watching the I mean, I have, I'm a true side here. here. You can, I have the Apple Watch. I go small watches. I'm not the best person. I have a small wrist, and I like a small watch. But um, there's quite a oh, lot yeah, that's of room a lot, there. That's tons of room. On the XL. That's tons and tons of room. Um, yeah. 
All right. Yeah, sure. I don't know what we got next. Um, I don't know. Say something that controversial, Willie. <laughs> I think saying nothing is my most controversial statement right now. All right. Yeah, Willie. Really go on with the silence. Yeah. Yeah, no. Um, all right, let's see what else we got. Um... ACOT, any thoughts on a possible ACOT and Twill two pocket return? Well, first, oh, that's what ACT was. Holy shit, I got an acronym and you didn't. Uh, I was like, Act 2. Act 2? Uh, <laughs> what, like, Act 20? I was like, baby, I've moved on. I've, like, We're on ideas, so we're working on idea 7. Um, oh, yeah, I think that will, I mean, buy these. Yeah, yeah. That's the controversial thing. Um... <laughs> Shop to drop. <laughs> uh, while, but while we're talking about Econ Twill, um, it is something we can talk about with you guys. With uh, First of all, it looks like it's 101. That means these products are probably up and live. So uh, if you want to grab them, go grab them. Um, what I want to talk about, what I want to ask about is um, we have too many Econs, right? Econ Flannel, Econ Twill, Econ Down. Um, and so uh, I want to rename some of them because it works a lot better when the when the modifier is first, right? Um, it's a lot clearer. Um, so what's a better name for a cotton swill? I keep like throwing out like a thick cotton, a thick twill, plush cotton. Um, I don't know. A cotton swill is a little generic. Um, one real wild card is that like you know something like a thick cotton. Um, it's really true for shirts, right? I like it. it. Sounds good. I think it's pretty clear when you're doing shirts, but like that stuff has potential to maybe go into some kind of pants. It's been mentioned before. We haven't played with it much, but it's definitely something in our mind. And if you go into pants, it's not a thick cotton, right? So that's something interesting. So, um, but yeah, if you guys have any thoughts, uh, the best possible name, I think a cotton down can just become a down cotton. Um, and then Akon Flannel, I'm kind of leaning towards keeping the same. Because that one feels like it owns its identity, but we're open. If you got better names, kick them to us. Um, all right, what else do we have? Uh, black Strong Swell is still crocking. We had it on one batch, but does this black, does this stuff crock? Let's do a test. Oh. Uh... This is all charcoal. Uh, okay, so shrinkage on nihilistic. We talked about it earlier, but we should go over it again, right? So the over black nihilistic is over dyed in the roll form, not a garment dye. Over dyed in the roll form. So that means it's been through the dye process twice, and we're not seeing any shrinkage on it. And and Sean tested that, like, with a washed garment, right? Yeah, so that was tested uh, both, like, in the lab, right? Like, testing the shrinkage of the fabric alone, and then also... Uh, it, ourselves washing a garment. So, um, the black, over black in the nihilistic shouldn't shrink at all. Um, the charcoal should shrink um, about half size ish, right, in all directions. Um, the strong tool should only shrink in length, right? Is that correct? Uh, no, the strong tool is half the size in. Oh, strong tool is all directions. Yeah, and not half size. Just a little bit in all directions, right. and the nihilistic right. is only nihilistic charcoal, in length. only in length. Yes, thank you. Um, all right. So, crocking. Right, yeah, crocking. All right. This is how you do uh, off-the-cuff crocking tests. Yeah. Take a white piece of paper. Hold on, it's flipping. Yeah, there we go. Now we got it. We're good. Let's all go. right. So, <laughs> this is how you do an off-the-cuff crocking test. Take a white piece of paper, put it on your fabric, rub. Uh, to varying strengths, and then look, and yeah, so there is some crocking. Yeah, there's a little bit of crocking on this batch of the black, so good. Thanks for catching that. We forgot about that. It's pretty minor, and it comes out with the first wash from everything we've seen, but um, yes, there is some crocking. And so we can go on to like dust all of here, and you can see nothing, right? I'm gonna go on to the wine dark, nothing. So it's only on the black. Uh, seven eight zip over. You know that's really for Willie, but the seven eight zip 
It was not a success that we hoped. I love the thing. It's cool, but I don't wear it a ton, but I do really like it. Um, we haven't forgotten about it, but we're not pushing it forward very much. Um, you seen crocking over there? No. No. no, no. Really. All right. We're not going to see it. Not. Strong linen ever coming back? I mean, we haven't ruled it out, but we're not like amped or excited about it or anything. Uh... All right, Jamie. Cool. So there was a there was a while when products were backlogged. Some stuff dropping. Some are actually getting caught up. Yes, we've intentionally. Um, I think other than the nihilistic hide arts, this is the last of like the. This is not even true wintery garments, right? We're done like with the winter stuff, and we're moving on. Uh, next week we have something special, a special return, different, um, and. Um, That's it, you know, we'll see. And then, but yeah, we're moving. We're trying to get ahead of the spring uh, over zip hoodie. I don't know what that would be, but we can think about it. Uh, well, he's got a textile dedicated scrub daddy. Um, how far off are Hide Arts and Duck Works? Not next week. I guess. Two weeks, maybe? No promises. Two weeks would be the earliest. No promises. We have three pants, like, queued up in the pipeline that we're hoping to get out as soon as possible. The Hide Arts, Nihilistic Hide Arts, and the Duck Works are two of them. Third one is a surprise. Uh, and there's some other ones, actually, from Portugal. Uh, Alright, let's see what else. List. Yeah. We will have some teas for you. We will, we'll give you that, um, but not now. Um, dry tin and wine deep on the. Are they showing on the page that is maybe slightly delayed? Uh, Merino wool Letterman jacket. I don't, Letterman jacket is never even my thing, but maybe I don't know. Acon twelve one hundred seven is definitely something we want to try. We haven't tried it, but it's definitely interesting. Uh, yeah. No. I mean, they're for sale. Yeah. Um, for sale. Okay. Wine dark looks way brighter in my. I mean, the here I'll go back to the camera, but the camera today, you know, it's really overcast out, so I think there's like a lot of like extra bouncing or something in the light. Um, but it, everything's looking um, extra washed out and bright on the camera. Uh, it's definitely a couple notches kind of darker, less less vir you know, um, less bright. So it's just a couple notches. On, my on your screen, and Tyler says it looks true on his screen, but on my on screen. My, on my computer screen. Oh, on your computer screen, yeah. yeah. So his computer screen, yeah. So I think the computer's going to be a little bit better than what you're seeing on this camera today in particular. Uh, Uncle Apple is not giving us the color rendering that we want. Um, we still have the world supply of injected linen. Yes, we do. Um, Oh, there was an Jason Strong. There was a fabric we looked at, but we didn't dig deep into it. Uh, nihilistic OJ. Nihil so, okay, we should note on it. So we're, we're not, this is the last of the Nihilistic after. The, we have the Hide Arts coming, and that's it. We don't have any more of it. And we really like the fabric. We're really looking for a replacement, but we don't think we want to order this particular fabric again. Um for a variety of reasons, but I mean, I think the easiest synopsis is like, you know, we had to go over dye, um, they don't the like sage. Dye. What? Yeah, the, the mill doesn't like dye. Yeah, the, basically like, the, the expertise and desire is like 98% there, but not 100% there in this particular supply chain. Um, to take it to the level where we're super excited. So we're trying to find a replacement and it's, it seems simple, but it, we haven't found it. It seems like a straightforward fabric that should really exist, but um, we've been having a hard time finding something comparable. So maybe that means we go back and run it again at some point when we forget about all the problems that we've had with it. Because um, it is a great fabric, despite all those problems. But for now, we're a little burnt on it. Um, so we're chilling. Um, 
And on that note, I think we're done. We're out. Um, we got something for you next week, but we're not going to tell you what it is. And um, we will catch you soon or on the internet or whatever. Peace. Later.